how to upload a project or design on Behance. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be showing you our beginner's guide on how to upload a project or design on Behance. Behance is a leading online platform for creative professionals to showcase their work, gain exposure, and connect with like-minded individuals from around the world. Whether you're a designer, photographer, illustrator, or any other creative enthusiast, Behance provides an excellent opportunity to display your talents and attract potential clients or collaborators. Uploading your project or design on Behance is simply an effective way to present your work in a visually appealing and professional manner. With millions of users and a wide range of creative disciplines, Behance offers a vibrant community where you can gain inspiration, receiving, receive feedback, and get noticed by industries and professionals. In this guide, we'll walk you through the basics of Behance and show you how you can upload your own project and designs on your Behance. And let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to do is go to Behance.net. This is the URL and you will be able to access Behance by typing that URL. And this is what Behance looks like. This is the For You page of Behance and in the For You, it's going to show you different designs of hundreds of thousands of different people as you can see here that are being suggested to you depending on how you use Behance. For example, the more you use Behance, the more the For You page is going to change just like with any other platform like Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and all of those different platforms. The more you use Behance, the more it will learn about what types of things you are interested in. For example, you keep searching graphic designs in Behance and for the For You page, it will then start beginning to show you graphic design related topics in For You to be able to show you the things that you are actually interested in. You can also follow different users, different creators. For example, I like the creation of Zena Ismail. I could follow her and over here on the following, I would be able to see all her creation in this section. Any updates, any new projects, any live stream, or any new designs uploaded by this content creator would appear in this section over here so that I will be able to be updated with what they are working on and see what they are working for. And people use Behance to get some exposure so that people could hire them to gain some uh, audience on their artwork to gain some fans stuff like that and in behance sometimes some professionals looking for work will be able to look for different peoples in this section and if they like your work if your work stands out and if it catches their attention you might get a job and get hired through behance you can also discover other types of artworks or different designs or portfolios or projects uploaded in Behance in the Discover section over here. You will be able to see different types, very random as you can see here. They have their own different unique designs individually as you can see here. And basically here in the Discover, you will be able to see different things that you wouldn't normally see when you're looking for specific topics. It's very random here and you will be able to see the best of the best as you can see here. Uh, the first one is made by multiple owners over here. These are the different owners of this specific project over here. You can also check out the live section over here where you will be able to see like a live stream of different people on their work. Uh, you could see them working, doing their graphic designs, their Photoshop, all of those things as you can see here. Each and every one of them has their own different live stream and they're going to show you how they do their work, how their thought processing is, how they do their strategy with designing their own templates their own designs stuff like that and as you can see here there are like two to three hours one hour stuff like that a long long live stream and over here on the hire section this is where you will be able to hire different people for example i'm a client and i'm looking for someone who could create a digital art or a digital design that is specific for my Team. So you will be able to find them over here. You could filter them out like freelance or full-time. If you choose the payment over here and like the popular creative fields over here. You could choose from any of this option to filter out to help you find the specific person that you think might help you with your inquiry. You could also go to jobs over here. And you could post a job in this section. For example, you could type in 
uh, looking for a job, or no, looking for a graphic design artist would help me create a sushi themed artwork and stuff like that. And then you will be able to post it over here and people will be applying to you instead of you looking for them. For the hire, you will be looking for individuals. For the job, individuals will be looking for you and try to apply to the job that you have posted. And that is the basics of how to use Behance. Now, to be able to share your work, to be able to upload your project is very easy. You can simply click on share your work over here on the top right and you will be able to share your project, services, work in progress, or live stream over here. Now, in this section, this is our project section. You will be able to add your images, text, photo grid, video and audio, embed, Lightroom, NFT, and prototype over here, depending on what project you are trying to show. For example, I'm going to show uh, text first and we're going to type in cat design and just like a mini introduction, a mini description, stuff like that. And then you could upload an image over here. You can simply drag this in this section. You can simply click on this section and you will be able to insert media like photos, text, photo grid, and all of those information. We're going to go to Canva for the meantime and I'm going to download an artwork from Canva to be able to show you how you can upload over, over here on Behance. So we're going to open this and we're going to download this artwork for a bit. Click on share, download, and download over here. And now we're going to wait for it to finish downloading, go back to Behance, and now we're going to drag it over here. And as you can see, we have our photo over here. You could add some assets, add some tags, depending on you. And after doing this, after adding whatever you would like to do, add like text, images, photo grid, whatever you would like to showcase, you can simply click on continue over here and you will be able to post this into Behance and showcase your artwork and designs. For me right now, I'm just going to save it as a draft. And you could add as many artwork as you want. You will be able to have a collection of all your different artwork that you have created. And they will be able to see you. People will be able to see you in the For You page or if like people notices your work and people likes it. And that's it guys. That's a very simple way of how you could use Behance and how to upload your work. You could do more uploads if you would like. You could do your services if you are not making a project. Uh, for example, uh, you uploaded your project already. You could do services as well like you are going to post that you're a graphic designer and you could design for some websites. You could do it on the services section as well. Actually, I'm going to show you how you could do searches over here as you can see. When you click this, it will search for you. It will give you suggested searches like banner, magazine, case study, resume, and book over here. You could search for anything you would like to have. You could also filter it over here like for projects. You could click on the projects and it will show you all the different projects over here as you can see. And like you could do more filtering over here. You could do assets, images, prototypes, streams, people, and mood boards over here. We go back here and we're going to check out the other things available aside from projects. We have images, prototype, people, assets, and people to hire in this section. Depending on what you want, you can simply select it and it will show you a page. As you can see here, what we saw earlier of all the different photos and like you could do the adjustment over here, like what type of camera, like the different lenses, stuff like that. And it will filter out the different results and show you the best images that is available for that specific filtering. And as you can see, we have a lot of options over here. We have a lot of designs, a lot of photos available. And you can simply download them by clicking this. You're not actually going to download them, but you could open them and you could save them into your mood board and you will be able to see similar also. And like copy a link, you could see the tools being used for this one, creative fields and like data about this specific photo. And you could also follow the person through this section by opening it. You could follow it or you could hire them over here. You could hire them for a freelancer or a full-time job. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.